Hi, welcome to my next uh, tutorial on Angular 4 and today we will be discussing about route guards, a very interesting and important feature of uh, Angular 2 or 4. So what is a route guard? First let us talk a little about that. Like a route guard helps in protecting our routing navigation. Like it may be a, there may be a business case or a use case in which we don't want to give an access to a particular URL to uh, an authenticated user. Only if the user is authenticated, then only they can have the access. Okay. Say for example, like if you are using a login system and after your login is authenticated, then you, are, you should be able to view that page. Or say for example, you have enrolled for some course, say this is a, there is a training, uh, online training program and you have enrolled for certain courses. Say for example, you have enrolled for Java, but not for Android. Then you may not be able to visit the, if you try to visit the Android URL, then it will show you an alert that you are not authenticated. It will guard you from navigating to that page. Okay, so this is the idea about Angular route guards. Angular 2 or 4, whatever you are using. Okay, now when we talk about route guards, there are um, generally there are four types, but there is other type also called resolve. So the four types are can activate, can activate child, can deactivate, and can load. So the most uh, m mostly used are the three ones, uh, the first three ones that is can activate, can activate child, and can deactivate. Okay, so we will look at it directly through an example. So, I will come back to my Visual Studio Code ID. You can use any ID and assuming that you already have the environment set up and your in server is running. So, my server is already running on a Node.js server. I have used ng-serve and it is already up and running. So, I come to app component. So, I have a very bare bone structure right now because I want to start from the scratch and when I run this application, I just get the title. Fine. Now, let us come back and let us start. Okay. We will reuse some of the files that we have already, already created in our previous session. So, if you have not already read about or have the idea of, of Angular routing, then I would suggest that you visit my video on Angular basic routing or any other tutorial online you can visit because that knowledge is required. So now I will come back to my file. If you remember, if you have gone through my video, this is the file we have created, a route file, okay, in which I have developed few components like home component, Java component, Android component, Java Swing component, Java Spring component and Android ID component. So let me group it this way so it will be easy to understand. Let me take the Android component like this. Uh, I am just organizing it that is it does not mix difference to the code functionality just like this. So that I can say that they are home component then Java component. So basically their main components are home component, Java component and Android component I have made and Java Swing component and Java Spring component are the child component of Java component and similarly Android ID component is the child component of Android component. Okay. This example we have already seen in the previous session, one of the our previous session. So you can visit that video if you want to, if you have forgotten about it then you can recall af after visiting that video. Okay. So we we all we had a route f we have routes defined a route configuration where we are saying that if path is empty then bring us to home component so by default it will bring us to home component then if path is Java then bring us to Java component like if in URL we write Java it will bring to Java components and then there is a children array inside this Java path so that means this becomes automatically becomes a child component of this java component okay so this becomes a child component of the java component that is swing and spring and all these component i already have it defined so i am not going to recreate any component because the components are already there from my previous session so this will save us time so let us quickly have a look at what are home component home component is nothing but just a div with its style background color given 
okay that is red plus green whatever color comes in rgb format and just a title this is a home page a very simple one so all the components i have created a very simple one because this is just for demo purpose uh, while in a real scenario the component may be complex so that doesn't matter so java component inside java component i have given a route, route link to swing and spring that is the child component and when whenever we are using routing we always have to use this uh, we have always have to take this router outlet tag if you remember if you recall so even at the um, uh, main component level for the child component if i am routing to i have to use router another router outlet within that component template okay so these are all the parts of the routing that we did same goes for your android component if i come to and if i come to java swing component is just say this is java spring component this is java swing component so nothing much over there and same way if i come to android component okay so it says this is android page and router link okay i have already given that is for android studio okay android studio or eclipse whatever id i am using okay so let's keep it simple not going much into detail of this so first what i'll do is i'll come to the app component dot html and here i will create a save button cli create one button and click of that button say on click of that button i'll call a function say this for java so i'll say go to java i'll define this function implement this function so just mentioning that it will on click of this button the events are written in parentheses it will say go to java and here i make a java link so same way i can create another button just copy paste it okay and i'll say go to android and this will lead us to android page okay so just i'll take this come to app component and here i have to define that function so i'll say public function name go to java then return type optional but better you give it otherwise it may give you an linting issue so here i will write so i have to route the page initially if you remember we were just using something like this i have cut and paste over here we are using router link in href in the last session which we did router link eager or lazy loading that we saw uh, in the previous just the immediate previous session so here i'll just use a command to route so for that i need to import a router this dependency i need to import so this is present in angular slash router okay then i have to inject this router module sorry router uh, dependency constructor so i'll say private router this is a dependency injection whatever we want to inject we can put it inside a constructor argument so router okay and then okay it is giving some error okay okay sorry uh, this is i written in this large ca in capital case that shouldn't be this okay now i have got this router object so through this i can navigate i have the navigate method inside this router object so i will say navigate and within navigate it takes an array okay within that array we have got only one navigation so i'll just mention it as uh, so what is the navigation path for java in app route same path we have to give okay here it is java and for android it is android so uh, we will give over here uh, sorry in app component will say slash java and same for go to android also we will let us just copy paste yeah copy paste saves us time so so we take this and we just change the name to go to android and here i'll say android okay let's 
so if we run it still we need to uh, do something more it seems let us go to app module uh, in app module we have to define those components java and android component whatever component we are using ok so and java and android component itself are using sub components if you rem if you just recall so see all these components like android is the parent components all these components you need to uh, import it in the put, uh, put it in the app module otherwise it will not recognize if i come over here and if i press f12 so we know that in angular we have to provide the information to the module otherwise it will not recognize so i have kept it copy pasted i believe okay no so i i think i forgotten to copy paste that no problem i'll do one thing i'll just come to java com main java component and copy paste it from there not a at least for the java part okay yes. in java component there is only routing information so which component we can get all i'm just thinking okay let me come to app component okay it is not there because you still i have not put it anywhere okay let's do one thing okay in app route it is there yeah so app route at least we can extract from app route so let us take the all the component because we require all the component whatever you given in the routing so come to app module and then here we can paste it all okay otherwise it will not recognize this is a general rule of angular we know that whatever you are using you have to whatever components or modules you are using you have to inform the root module about it or at least the module in which you are packaging it okay so now uh, home component copy so a component goes into declarations all the components will go into declarations so i have got java component i have to put it all over here other otherwise whenever i will try to navigate it will throw an error saying that it is not there uh, angular cannot the module root module cannot identify it so first let me set it up so java swing component java spring component okay so my cursor is not showing up properly okay so android component okay and finally and whatever component you are using so even i have tried to keep it simple but still i have got so many components now okay now next we have to import router module we have to import this from the package angular slash uh, router as we have been doing in the previous now this router module uh, uh, this router module will go in the imports and uh, we al also finally we need this app route ok mm, so this is what we did in the one of the sessions on angular basic routing ok here I have named it uh, route so let me do one thing let me call it as app routes to distinguish it the name it should not be so similar so this is a route configuration ok so let me import this as well app routes this needs to come into the module otherwise it will not be effective it will not get implemented import say app routes from uh, I think it is at the root level so uh, app uh, routing app route its name is app dot route dot ts that is the name I have given now this router module you can place it in imports ok this android id component this comma we need to remove ok so I will say router module dot for root ok and name of this configuration that is app routes fine so we have set up the routing so let's see if uh, it runs fine ok still it is giving some ok so no exported member app routes app route 
app routes have we exported let's see why it is saying complaining about it so app constant app routes no app route we don't need to export anywhere let's see let's check once again what there may be some other problem some other issue so this is taken from the folder app okay that is correct so app routes which is which has come over here okay okay this seems to be fine let's see why it is complaining cannot feel okay the issue is different there is no primary outlet it's not a problem of app route so you come to app component dot uh, html file and since we are routing it so we need this right router outlet otherwise it will not know where to put that routed file where to display that routed file a uh, routed component in fact to be more technical now let's come back and see the view fine it works now so we have set up our routing so this is the same thing i have done which i have done in my session on uh, angular basic routing so anyway it's kind of brush up uh, uh, till uh, till this part now we have to move further to study about the route guard so now if i click on java it comes to java page if i click on android it comes to android page and if i click on the child sub child it is coming to the sub child okay same for java as well if i click, click on swing spring so this was already done so we have just reused it okay now let's see the route guard okay now if i if i want to put a guard that java somebody say some student may have enrolled for java course some may have enrolled for android course okay and some may have enrolled for both okay so let us uh, so first let me let let me go step by step first let me demonstrate it in a very very simple uh, way just uh, let me do some hard coding and then we will refactor it a little bit to get the concept get to get more of the concept okay now over here in if you come to this route file so let us look at can activate first okay so can activate means like uh, if the url can be visited that is the meaning of can activate and can deactivate is just the opposite if i have already in that url i have visited that url and if i can move out of it or not okay so this is the difference so let's start with can activate so say for example for java if i want to go to path java i want to put a route guard over here can activate so before doing that let us define uh say let me put it in a folder uh let's in a separate folder let me put it in a separate folder so that it would be separated okay so i'll create a folder let me name it as router say guard router guards okay spelling is wrong so let me correct it so router guards okay and inside this let us create a new service so can activate is an array uh, uh, let me come over here again so can activate is an array let me put it for the timing we won't compile the code so there is a property called can activate and it takes an array and inside array you can put multiples Uh, services related to can activate it will take services remember this point it will take services okay as a uh, value for this can activate okay so i will come back to my folder that i have created router guards i'll come to new file and uh, see i give it the name um, check check um check guard or any any name you can give i'm not able to quickly think of some suitable name but uh, uh let me give it in the same notation let me keep it consistent with other file name check guard dot ts okay check guard dot ts okay now as i mentioned it is a service so for service we have to import 
uh, injectable we have already done this uh, session on services so if you recall okay and this is a part of angular core only okay so services are also a part of angular core okay from the keyword from is missing so from angular core okay and then after that i can just put a injectable decorator the way we define services okay and then i'll say export class okay so let me name it as check guard or give it some very meaningful name even check guard i'm not myself i'm not like so much satisfied with this name give it some name like say authentication guard auth or auth authentication services etc whatever you wish okay and here we have to implement can activate if i am using can activate i have to implement that uh, uh, i have to implement can activate so let me first import from angular sorry route it is a part of router okay so here i will implement can activate okay so after importing can activate as i mentioned we have to implement can activate can activate okay once you implement can activate then you have to uh, implement it inside also give the implementation detail over here define it so there is a method called can activate remember c is small okay and return type it can return type can be an observer or a promise or even a boolean so i am keeping it very simple i am returning a boolean true or false if it returns true it will allow you if it returns false false it will not allow you okay so i'll say return if i hard code it true okay uh, here also again i made a mistake implements okay so if i hard code it true it will always allow me okay so if i take this no check guard if i come back to app route and here i have to provide the name but i need to import that service also okay check guard so without importing it will show error so import check guard from say dot slash what was the folder name it was guard sir we have just created a folder so router guards okay so router guards slash check guard okay now it is fine so now this means okay you have to put a comma over here otherwise there will be syntax error so now this means that i have made it true so it can go to move to java page okay which it is already doing so not a big deal right not a big deal let us go to home page now come to java page and it moves to java page so not a big deal oh sorry some error is coming it seems no it's fine it was compiling actually so that time only i refreshed it okay so now if i purposely make it false okay instead of return true so here it will not be hard coded in real scenario it is some service will be hit some value will be read from the service say for example you are uh, having a google authentication you are using a gapi google api for authentication and here if you are logged in successfully it return you some value you will check with that value and return true or false accordingly and if i say false then it will not allow me to move into java see click 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 it will not allow me to move okay what is the error it is coming no provider for check guard okay since check guard is a service so we have to 
uh, we have to make a uh, we have to provide it as a service in the providers array so let's do that that we have forgotten that we have to that is why it was throwing some error okay come to app module okay and import it over here import check card from dot what is the full path from router guards right router guards slash check guard and we can take this check guard and where does services go it goes in the providers okay now come okay so it's perfect now no error now click on java it will not allow it to go okay so best way is to even if i am hard coding best way to make it a little flexible is like uh, where it will have some user interaction is to put a javascript confirm box okay instead of passing true and false hard coded it is better i'll say confirm confirm is a javascript confirm box will come okay so return confirm and give a message are you in role for java course okay so a confirm box will come with yes and no button if a user presses yes this whole thing will return true if it is no whole or cancel it is whole thing will return false so that way it will either go to the java page or remain on that page let's see this now okay now if i click on android page it is fine but the moment i try to click on java page it will give me a confirmation are you enrolled for java course if i say cancel it will not move to java page if i say okay i want to move to java page then it is taking you to the java page so this is guarded okay so actually in the real scenario you will have some kind of service which will hit http service which will hit your authentication say so it is a login information and it will bring a value and that value you can check over here and confirm okay so this is about can activate okay so it is getting refreshed actually so that is why okay so next part is can activate child so it works the same way the only thing is like see for example now i am saying java it is us i say okay comes to java page now if i want to come to swing page okay java swing so it is opening up now even at this level also i want to keep some kind of uh, uh, guard that okay maybe a student has enrolled for java but they may have opted only for swing course or spring course different framework of java okay so i can even activate the child i can put an activation for this child okay act sorry i can put a uh, can activate child means router guard for this child as well so it's almost the same thing the only thing is instead of can activate you need can activate child so i can create one more check guard service and here i can implement can activate but there is a flexibility you can do it all in the same file also if you want but it is better to keep it separate as a good practice but i can keep it in the same file so instead of recreating another file i'll just put it over here only can activate child so let me import this and it will just implement another can activate child and then i will can act, i'll implement that can activate child okay then it will also return a boolean same way okay and here also i'll say return confirm are you enrolled for java swing and spring so it will recruit an accordingly whatever a user has chosen okay if i see one thing more i'll tell you i'm making put single quotes because there comes a linting issue though it is accepting in double quotes also but at times you'll see that when you are 
doing the final AOT compilation, it can throw a linting error. So better keep it this way. Okay. Now can activate uh, child I have defined over here. So now let's come to this SAP route. And just like I have uh, put a guard of can activate. So for this children also I can put a guard called can activate child. Same way. Exactly similar way. No difference. And same name I put because the same component consists the same serv service in fact consists the um, consists this uh, implementation for can activate child also okay now let us see let us come and see okay so let us go back to the home okay now click on java if you say okay then it will move here now if you further click on swing now now it will ask you are you enrolled for java and spring and this is also plotted if you say yes it will go otherwise it will not go fine so i hope this concept is clear so we have seen can activate and can activate child same we can do for android if required or otherwise you can leave it and the best way would be like uh, you create a separate service like uh, here we have put everything in one file like uh, in that check guard yeah in this check guard service so here you import another service say auth service and there you can check okay if it is a authentication service for google or facebook bring the data over here and then here you can check but just as a for a demo purpose i have hard coded it for now okay so can activate we have seen can activate child we have seen now let's see can deactivate okay can deactivate is the next next topic so can deactivate as i mentioned it's just the opposite of uh, this like you are al already in a page say for example you are filling up a form and you need to and you are again moving away so maybe you have made some changes to the form and you may have forgotten to save it so it will ask you that are you sure you want to move out so here the case was i'm trying to move into this url to that particular page so it is asking whether I can activate this user for this URL and can, de can deactivate is just the opposite. Once I am inside the URL, if I want to exit from the URL, then that will get, uh, uh, that will get uh, invoked. Okay. So I have already created a small form uh, just with uh, first name and last name uh, called uh, details. Okay. So let me just come to custom. I think I placed it in custom component. Yeah, there is one form called details. So in details, I've just put first name, last name, and a click button which will say go to home. Okay. And in go to home, I am saying router dot navigate home. Okay, it will bring to home. So if I come to app dot route. Okay, so home, there is nothing called defined called home. So I'll make a little changes over here. Okay. So just copy this, paste this, and here I will say, I'll just remove this and I'll define this as home. Okay. And here I say if it is empty, then it will redirect to home. So this is just that if a user has opened the default URL, then it should redirect to home. Okay and path match full so this way it is advantages for her like even if you are opening a default url it will lead you to home and the other advantage is i can directly call the home from here also okay so that is the advantage so now i come back over here in check guard ts uh, sorry i was in details component so it will bring me to home so now once I have come to the form section and if I'm moving back, I want to uh, alert the user, notify the user that are they sure they want to move away? Maybe they must have entered something and then they are trying to move. Maybe they must not have saved their work. Okay, so I'm just keeping a very simple form. I'm not doing the actual checking because when we do Angular forms, that I'll show you that we can actually do the check whether the form has been manipulated or modified by using some dirty checking that is called dirty checking. 
and also form validation we can check. So, here I am keeping just simple assuming that user has modified something in the form and he is trying to move back. So, we need to alert the user. So, there we can use can deactivate. So, I come to hmm, this uh, first let us. So, there also better to have a separate file, but let me implement that in the same file itself. So, I will implement can deactivate. Okay. So, here I will write can deactivate. Now, remember one thing a uh, very important point when you are saying can deactivate it, you have to put a template in within the angular bracket that what type of component you want to uh, want this can deactivate to act upon. So, that component is this details component, the form component. So, first you need to import this component. Okay. So, make a note of this point. Okay. So, I come to this back to this uh, check guard.ts and I say import. Oh, I may put a line break. Okay, import detail component from whatever is the path of that file we need to give. So, details component is inside custom component, I believe. Yeah, it is inside custom component. So, custom com sorry. custom component still I think I am putting making some mistake oh, ok ok check guard is inside some folder already. So, I have to first move up that level. So, now we will get it custom component slash and details component ok details component. So, that is it. So, I will provide this in the template this ang within the angular bracket of can deactivate otherwise it will not work and now I have to implement this. So, I will write can deactivate oh, this case I need to change can deactivate ok and then I can have a boolean over here as well ok then return will return something ok. Now, when you are using can deactivate you need to have the reference of the component right. So, that reference you can have through a constructor ok constructor say private template or even without you do not need that uh, we can do it directly over here just a second let us do it directly over here. So, we can pass it as an argument over here. So, here I can say template of type detail component ok detail component this we can do ok template of type. So, this we can bring only if you want to check something on this template ok right now we are not doing any checking ok like you can define something called template dot is form modified for example, this is not yet defined I can define a method called say is form modified ok uh, is form modified uh, is there uh, inside this detail component I can make a method called is form modified there I can check if a form has been modified then I will return true or false depending on that ok. So, even if I do not use it for the timing you can leave it like that ok here also let us put a confirm box return confirm. So, are you sure you want to navigate from this page because there can be some unsaved data as well ok. So, that is it and we have already we have already put this check guard in can activate child. Now, you see all the names are same because all of it belongs in the same component, but in real scenario maybe you put it all in separate files, but you can put it in same file also group it together if they are related functionalities. Now, let us run it and check ok this is home. So, this is Java ok we have not yet created the link for going to that page that is the fill details page right. So, come to app component dot 
html there is where we need to put it right so i come to app component dot html so let us put the or uh, let us give a break tag over here and let us put a link over here so a h uh, sorry okay this is popping up a then router link or button also you can make just like i have made over there so i'm purposely keeping a mix of it so that we can brush up router link okay say details i have not yet defined details so i need to define details page as well uh, details routing i mean details and close it and where i can fill my details so this details need to be put in this uh, route let me do one thing i'll just close all that is not required because it is difficult for me to move from one page to other details component okay not here app route okay so here all here we'll keep that uh, details okay we'll define the details page over here just like we have defined it here so just copy any part copy paste you need to import the details component also over here so details and detail component you have need you need to import over here just like the other components okay uh, what is the name of the details component is detail component come back to app route from the path of that component so dot slash custom component slash detail details component that's it now let us run it okay let me cancel this okay so no errors now but we don't see that link also okay so not sure if it has been compiled fully that link should come hyperlink so let's see something is missing it seems but a router link is equal to details no this is fine it should come fine so let's see where we are missing it okay it has come now details okay now if i click on details okay so still it is not moving to details so uh, let's see where we have done the mistake details the spelling is details let's see if the spelling matches in app routes details oh sorry i have forgotten to mention the component name it's still showing home component since i copied paste so human error you can say okay now let it compile so it will come to the details page now if i click it so let it finish compile loading okay still it is compiling it seems let's see okay it is still 92% complete so at times it becomes very slow my system becomes slow so sorry for the okay now let's see component detail component okay fine uh, as usual we have to put this information in module also whatever new component we are adding so i forgotten that so uh, let me copy this from here let me paste it in app module okay so i'll paste it over here and as we know that all the component will go inside declarations okay component goes inside declarations now let's see now it should be fine okay now i click on details okay so i fill something okay so i go on filling whatever and now i will i'll try to move away say java android wherever i click so it is asking me oh sorry it is asking that route let let me try to move for home because this router is uh, actually gaining precedence over this 
so home i want to move back to home oh some problem let's see what is it it didn't ask him in something some issue is there so let me come to this check guard ts yes, and let's see okay return confirm are you sure you want to <coughs> this is a part of your can activate oh can deactivate so we have let's check if it we have put the correct configuration over here so can activate okay we have not yet put can deactivate over here we have missed it out okay so this way we can troubleshoot so can deactivate okay can deactivate so we have to configure it so we have missed this configuration so can deactivate so check guard same thing will come over here so now it I think we are done. No more issues. It should be. Okay. So it is coming to home. Now if I come to details, I fill it up. Whatever information I want to fill it. So right now I'm not doing a real time check whether the form has been modified. Just giving a hard coded value. Now you try to navigate away. So are you sure you want to navigate from this page? Okay. Cancel. If you say cancel, it will stay. And if you say OK, then it should move back. OK. So, so even in case if I want to move to Java Android also, Java also, then also this one will now gain the precedence. OK. So, let us check it out. Are you sure you want to navigate from this page? Once I say OK, so this on deactivate, uh, deactivation check is finished, then it will again check for the activation of Java course. Can activate will get it invoked okay so this is how it works okay so if you see all follow the same pattern only you need to keep on implementing it in the service so can activate uh, whatever parameter it takes it should be a service can deactivate or can activate child all of it should be a service okay so now let me cover the fourth part final part so for that let me create the code so last session so whatever we have done in the last session so for lazy loading so i have that uh, folders and files is still with me so we'll be just utilizing that because again this will take a lot of time to create again create a new lazy loaded module though i already have that video tutorial so you refer to that tutorial in case if you are not able to recall it so the, the fourth part that is can load works on for lazy model if the lazy model can be loaded or not uh, in the same way like we use can activate so can activate works for components okay uh, while can load works for module lazy loaded modules so <coughs> uh, i'll come back to this countries module and all the files are there as it is so my module is prepared only i need to connect it so i go to first i go to html part and I will create one more. I have the code copied, I think. Okay. Okay. Let me copy this part. Lazy. Because this link is already created. This lazy. So that link was in its own routing file. That is countries route. Lazy. I have commented out the eager one because we are not dealing with eager or lazy loading. We have already gone through this tutorial. I am only interested in the countries module. So path is lazy or you can name it any other path also say country or something but since this is lazy loaded so i'm just naming it as lazy and this will call the countries module and inside the countries module we see that uh, it will redirect to when it is empty the url it will redirect to this country's component it will display country component now since i already have an empty path redirection over here then i need to remove it i will in fact i have already removed it now from my main routing dot app route so app route if you remember just a while ago i had uh, put the same uh, default path routing over here path redirect to all those so otherwise it will report that there is a duplicate path okay so i have removed it from here and just using it over here okay so this is already done country is already done from the previous session i'll directly use it now time to connect this so to connect this i need to import the country's module over here so Oh, sorry not this one let me import countries route
okay so country routing is already returned as a module if i go to this component you will see that it is already being returned as a module so i don't need to convert it to module anymore i'll just put the module since it is a module i'll put it in the import side so this is it and here i'll just say lazy so in description let me in the label let me mention it as countries yeah let's see if it runs okay yeah it runs fine so now uh, let me separate let it it is too much uh, you know crowded crumpled up in one place only so i'll put a break tag okay over here and let's put two break tag over here sorry not there here only one more break tag okay so now countries is over here now if i click on countries so okay since right now i'm in detail space so that is why this can deactivate is getting activated let me start from the home page so it will be clear okay now i've got uh, detail space java page say for example it asked me okay okay then i go to countries page okay so it is getting lazy loaded okay so this can load the last part works on lazy loaded module only so i'll come to app app route dot ts uh, before that let me uh, declare this in within this uh, uh, that uh, check guard ts let me declare this um, let me implement this in fact can load so before that i need to import it also so i import this can load okay now i need to finally put the implementation detail over here can load and same way i can do over here so for the sake of simplicity here also i'm hard coding it and here also i'll say return say confirm do you want to okay here also put single quotes there all in this one i have again put double quotes anyway never mind say do you want to load countries details if you say yes it will load if you say no it will not load okay so now finally i go to app route dot ts and here uh, Uh, sorry from no, uh, app in app route dot ts i have not given any countries details it has its own routing over here called countries route so i'll put it over here okay so if i say can load okay and colon and then i have to mention that component so since so this is a different routing file so i have to import it over here as well that check guard so i'll just take this check guard uh, come back to countries route and just import it over here and just use this check guard within this can that's it now let's run it and confirm so it's already coming because directly i'm in that url okay so it is giving some error okay route some route is getting overlap that's why it is uh, complaining okay detected during a rebuild load version detected and override it save it you should perform full build to validate your routes don't overlap okay so we need to check that the actually you better you put it in the same file okay i put a different route file because i am trying to reuse the previous one or either you remove all from here if you remove all from app module if you remove everything and just put countries then this will not come okay because some kind of router overlapping is happening so no problem but this should work okay you just try it out by removing it all okay i've just tried to merge both so that is why i am getting this issue okay so if you or if you just move it 
even this route what i can do is i can just move this whole route let me try to do this quickly if it can otherwise you can try it out yourself not a problem concept is clear so only need to implement it over there okay so here i'll say the i'll do this lazy loading i'll let me put it over here only okay and load children so i have to bring this uh, bring this part over here which i pasted it already okay and then from app module in app module i don't need to import it anymore this country routing i don't need to import it anymore over here this module okay i don't need to load it let's see if this fixes the problem otherwise no no issues you can try it out yourself okay so details okay if i again go to home so let us go through all the path okay to check if nothing else has broken now i come to countries okay so it is asking do you want to load countries details if i say okay then it will load all the countries details and we are done okay so since so there was some kind of router overlapping over there so that is why there was a issue so i'm so i'm no more using this countries routes okay simply i've copied pasted it in this main route it is always a good idea to have one route main route configuration for that okay so uh, to summarize it we have seen can activate we have uh, gone through all the four uh, parts of a uh, category of uh, router guard one is can activate so can activate uh, will actually guard your route when you are trying to move to that route okay and it all this takes the parameter as service inside an array okay then we have seen uh, can deact can activate child that is for child routes we can use can activate child then we have seen can deactivate can deactivate is just the opposite like if i am already inside a url and if i want to move out of it like say i am filling up some form and i am i may have forgotten to save it so there we use can deactivate and then we have can load can load is for lazy loading modules okay so all these i have put in one file only you can separate it also or better you can put it in one file only so depends on what kind of requirement it is if it is a group for same kind of use similar kind of functionality similar kind of say uh, features then you can put it in a same file otherwise you can put it in a separate file okay <coughs> and one more thing let me mention you since it is an array that means you can place multiple route guard like you can check whether the user has uh, logged in properly or not is authenticated even after logging in whether the user is entitled to go for java course or not so two kind of authentication is there okay so you can just put one after the other and it will process in order so if i say check guard then comma if i put some other service say check to say this is another service so first it will authenticate with check guard after that authentic authentication is done then it will check with check to so this way it will go on okay and in angular 4 there is another feature which checks the next state okay there is another feature in angular 4 that is uh, in angular 4 okay this is again refreshed and come back to the same state because i made some changes forget it okay so there is another uh, f f new feature added in angular 4 which you can check out okay which you can try out so that feature is uh, nothing but it will check like what is the next url you want to move to see right now it was checking in can de can deactivate like you are trying to move out of that page okay but even there is an option okay something went wrong forget it there is an option i'll check that if i'm trying to move out of this url what is the next url i'm trying to move out i can be more specific so that is the next state okay next state in can deactivate you can put next state like in check guard we have this can deact can activate can deactivate you can even check this next state okay you can check for next state there is an option called next state next state in angular 4 only you'll get it okay you won't get it in angular 2 you'll get it in angular 4 okay next state is equal to say next state dot url say if i am trying to navigate to the home okay slash home then only you want that it should return you this condition sorry 
it should return you this condition so if you are already having angular 4 installed you can try it out ok then some condition it will return some message and it will ask you for that ok so this way you can uh, even specify it further in angular 4 ok so that was all quite a lengthy one but yeah I wanted to go very slowly on this part ok so I hope it is clear to you and uh, you understood the concept of this router guards at least these four guards which we have talked about can activate can activate child can deactivate and can load so fine uh, thanks very much for watching my video and if you like the video then please share it with your friends and colleagues and stay tuned if you, um, for more videos to come in and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and if you are interested to for more tutorials uh, based on this then please do subscribe to my channel and uh, thanks very much once again bye bye